Hi, welcome to the UMLS visualization system. This is the landing page of our website where you can actually search for a medical concept. So let's get started. Let's try to search for a medical concept. As you have observed that, as you keep on typing every character, the system is going to search for any kind of medical concept, starting with the characters M-A-L-A-R-I. So it's going to give you the top 30 medical concepts starting with those characters M-A-L-A-R-I-A. -A. So let's select our concept, medical concept malaria. The system is trying to mine all the available knowledge on the medical concept malaria. So here you have two tabs, hierarchical view, relationship view. In the hierarchical view, we are basically showing the hierarchy of malaria. So as you hover over the term, as you can see here, the other terms are turned into red. It basically means that all those medical terms are the children of malaria. That is what is explained on the details or the information box onto your right. For an example, blackwater fever is a malaria, or basically it says that blackwater fever is a child of malaria, or malaria is the parent. Similarly, you can hover over other terms. Here, you have a green light or a green uh, line stating that induced malaria is a child of malaria. So a red indicates a parent, a green indicates a child. Let's say if you hover over malaria falciparum. Here, mal malaria falciparum has two children, blackwater fever and malaria cerebral, and it is a child of the term malaria. Similarly, the other terms. The basic, uh, the information box on the right is basically explains the graph. Also, in the, in the details box, you can click on the word deaf to actually get the definition of the medical concept. So here, induced malaria does not have any definition in our system. So that's the reason we show no definitions found. These, this is the, these are the definitions available for blackwater fever. So this is the hierarchical view. This is the radial layout. You can actually select a layout or change a layout between two tree layout and a radial layout. Based upon your visualization preferences and liking, you can select between the layouts. We are constantly trying to improve our layout mechanism and we are in the for next release, we are going to uh, show you or give you more options for uh, multiple layouts. Here is a relationship view. In this view, we are basically trying to explain how is malaria connected to other concepts using the association may be prevented by. And obviously, the detail box here on towards your right explains the same. And also, we try to explain or categorize how each concept is categorized in the UMLS system disease or a syndrome or a clinical drug. You can select multiple associations. Let's try another concept. Tuberculosis is a large concept. It has too many relationships or it has large number of association with other concepts. So it might take a couple of seconds to get all the knowledge back and render the knowledge graph. So this is the hierarchical view of tuberculosis. Obviously, the radial layout is not much of a helpful. So that's when you want to switch to a tree layout. A tree layout gives you a much better idea of how what is the hierarchy of tuberculosis. You can click on these concepts to actually close the child children child concepts for better readability and closing the large graph and you can hover over them to actually get more information uh, or details about themselves and how it's related to tuberculosis. Similarly, a relationship with you uh, will give, provide you all the associations between tuberculosis and other medical concepts.
If you want to learn more about the project, we have a small page explaining the goals and what, I, what is it we are trying to achieve with this visualization system. We also have a page about UMLS which tries to explain in brief what exactly is Unified Medical Language System and how do they categorize medical concepts. If you need any help regarding the system or if you face any issues uh, accessing the system, please don't hesitate to contact me. Also, if you have any constructive feedback which I can incorporate in the system, please let me know. If you have any errors, it would be helpful for us if you can send a screenshot so that we can actually debug the system. Thank you.